Hello everyone, you have reached MTG Nostalgia, the YouTube channel that is now celebrating 1500 views. I got my party whistle, I got my celebratory hat on and I got this booster of the dark which we're gonna open now. So this is it, 1500 views and a booster of the dark. Uh, the Dark is the fourth ever expansion that set that came out for Magic. It's one of the old sets. You can see it has the old design, which uh, is dangerous for you to buy boosters from because uh, these are see-through. I've made another video explaining how uh, uh, how you can see through them, how you can scan them for the cards. Um, I have not checked them because I want to be surprised by what's in it. And um, there are some cards of value in this, especially two. Um, one is an uncommon, Maze of Ith. I don't have one lying around. Uh, the top card in this set would be Blood Moon. That's a rare. Um, Blood Moon has seen some reprints. It was in Chronicles. Uh, this one is from Chronicles. You can tell by the white border. Uh, I think it was in 7th edition or so, and still it's a $30, $40 card. If you see it, what it does, you might see that it's, you can combo quite uh, interestingly with it. Yeah, um, The Dark um, came out between revised and fourth edition, came out after Legends and it uh, focused on some horror tropes. So um, they didn't yet um, uh, have um, really um, developed a fantasy world of their own, so there were some real, uh, real worlds, so some earthen um, uh, f fantasy horror tropes in this, like Frankenstein's monster, which you would of course not see in another set printed today. So let's start. I think the last six cards should be the commons, and the uh, first two cards should be the uncommons, but however, Maze of Ith. Uh, would be a C1, so this could be a Maze of Ith, this could be a Blood Moon. So, oh well, we're gonna start with the comments, what the hell. Ah, uh, um, The Dark was the second set ever to um, print gold cards, and it was the first um, ever set um, to print a gold card with enemy colors, a Dark Heart of the Wood. But um, this is Marsh Goblins, this is uh, one of only three gold cards in this set, it's a uh, black and red goblin with swamp, uh, swamp walk, and you can see it explains that it's a black card and a red card because gold cards were pretty new at that time. Erosion, um, blue enchantment, three blue um, mana symbols on a common, that is something that you don't see that often nowadays because it makes drafting harder and it's sort of land destruction. Word of Binding, <laughs> black sorcery that taps creatures. You can see that the the color wheel was a bit scrambled back then. It's it's not it was not as clean cut as it is nowadays because tapping is normally is a blue ability. Oh, here we have Dark Heart of the Wood, the first enemy color gold card, black and green. You may sacrifice a forest to gain three life. Scavenger folk. Sacrifice scavenger folk to destroy a target artifact. Uh, destroying artifact, it's that, well, that is what green does. Dust to dust. And there was also um, there was a small cycle. It was a pair of cards, dust to dust and ashes to ashes. Ashes to ashes was black. Destroyed two creatures and cost you five life. And this removes, oh, it exiles two artifacts. Oh, okay. Removes from the game before exiling was keyworded. Worded. Uh, the last two cards. So. We don't have a Mace of Ith in here. Might we have a Blood Moon? Nope. Elves of Deep Shadow. That is actually the top uncommon from this set. Um, you can see it's a green card. It can give you black mana and does one damage to you. So uh, mana fixing in... Is it Golgari? No. Uh, I don't know. And last one. Oh! Preacher. Um, Preacher is a white 3-drop, a 1-1 creature. Um, and you also notice that it doesn't say creature, it says summon creature because uh, creature cards weren't called creature cards back then, they were called summon spells. Um, it taps to gain control of one of opponent's creatures. Opponent chooses which target creature you control. If creature becomes untapped, you lose control of this creature. You may choose not to untap creature as normal during your untap phase. 
You also lose control of the creature if creature leaves play or at end of game. So uh, that's another example of uh, the scrambled color wheel because of course, uh, gaining control of uh, opponent's creatures that is uh, firmly in blue nowadays or in red if it's only temporary. But yeah, I think this is actually one of the top five cards of the set still. It's it's no Maze of Ith or, or no Blood Moon, but it's, it's I think it's a six or seven dollar card. So, well, not too bad. And I think it's in mint condition. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, my trusty viewers, uh, thank you for 1,500 views on this channel. I um, have some plans still for some more content on this channel. Uh, I hope you stay tuned. Remember to like, share and subscribe and see you next time.